Good morning, lovelies. It is the day before the full moon in Scorpio. How are you guys feeling? And welcome to the channel. This is Lunar Goddess Tarot, formerly Divine Truth Tarot. Like many of you, I have been called to do a name change for the channel. And just sort of a... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? A... Not resurfacing, but... It's like scrubbing scrubbing something clean i don't know what i'm trying to say but basically um the divine feminine is going through some changes right she's going through some changes she's on the move and i'm feeling that too <clears throat> in particular because i am a sun and venus and scorpio so this full moon affecting all of my sun and scorpio people out there rising scorpio moon and scorpio oops sorry about that um as well as north node south node and scorpio right north node is your destiny south node is past lives and what you've brought into this lifetime in the form of gifts and also in the form of karma so all of that is going to be affected i'm going to recommend you guys follow Lori lothian her you i'll link her youtube channel in the description box below it's lunatic astrology i had a reading with her about a month ago she's fantastic she'll give you lots of insight into who you are where you're going where you've been and she does do a lot of she has her astrology is mixed in with some mythology as well so greek and roman mythology and she can tell you all about that so i learned a lot about who i am and it just gives you that clarity in and where you're going and she is part of what inspired me to change the name of my channel because i really resonated with Luna, the word Luna and the moon cycles. And I've always been very, very highly affected by the cycles of the moon, in particular, the full moon cycles. And for my female divine feminines or divine masculines out there, your cycle can sometimes link up with a full moon and it has throughout various points of my life and it's syncing up again now, which can be very beautiful and can also be very challenging and because you're going through all these emotional changes and all of these waves and then you get the full moon energy and then the cycle energy and depending on how your cycle flows that can be really challenging so i want you guys to take great care of your wombs right now <clears throat> talked about that in detail over on patreon in fact last night i was inspired to create a patreon only written channeled message for the divine feminine from your guides there's a lot of messages coming through for, from your guides right now that are really important for the divine feminine to understand. There's a lot of focus is being shifted back onto the divine feminine and away from the physical divine masculine. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't be living with your divine masculine or in a partnership or even in a form of reunion with your divine masculine or in even in any kind of communication or connection. That doesn't mean that you have to push them away, but you're going to be feeling the pull right now to really become independent to really become independent in the way that you think, in the way that you act, in the way that you live your life. And so um, it's, it's going to feel a little bit like you're leaving the divine masculine behind, but this is all part of the journey. And your divine masculine is likely going to be feeling this, whether you're in communication or not. And <clears throat> you're, you, you guys have switched roles, okay? So I did a video on that yesterday, late yesterday afternoon, and talked about why have we switched roles and i hope you guys are liking these new styles of videos where we're not just focusing on the divine masculine but we're really focusing on the journey of the divine feminine her journey towards inner union her journey towards wholeness her journey her journey that's a mouthful towards completion and her journey really back home to herself and finding that really safe haven within herself so without further ado, if you'd like to join Patreon, the link is below in the description box of every video. And as far as personal readings, I do have to catch up on my emails for those of you who have requested them for the month of May. Uh, and I'm likely going to be booked for the month of May pretty soon here. So I may have to just do a halt until June, but I will let you know in the next video, okay? And thank you so much for um inquiring about a personal reading i'm fumbling my words <laughs> this full moon is is having a doozy of an effect on me already so let's see what we have going on we have victory we have new beginnings in love this is these are themes that are coming up over and over and over 
you guys know that I've been talking about the themes and I've seen themes now in this past month of April or even in the past several weeks, three weeks or so, which I guess would be the month of April, more than I've ever seen from the year and a half that I've been doing these readings for this channel. So six of wands, good news, victory. So this is just really the divine saying that there's nothing to worry about. Um, a lot of feminines are in the process of relocating, whether it's jobs or homes or if you're not relocating homes, you might just be, <clears throat> I'm picking up on, for some feminines, you might just be rearranging your home. It's kind of feng shui -ing. What is it, Marie kondo -ing your home? Okay, or you just might really feel inspired to have this new beginning. And I do feel like this is a bit about falling in love with yourself. And this is the victory of coming into that full inner union where you really feel like I've made a home within myself. There's a song that I'm being directed to right now, guided to, oh gosh, I can't remember the movie that it was from. It's like, I build a home. I think it's called, I built a home or something like that. So I'll try to link it below if I remember, I usually don't. So if not, try to Google that and see, because it's, it's coming out as a channeled message for the divine feminine. So let's get a message for the divine masculine, which again, as I always say, is within us and also the external divine masculine. So read this for your internal masculine, for that inner union energy as well. The fool, this is another card that's been coming out over and over for not just collective readings, but personal readings. So the fool, Archangel Metatron, it's all happening in divine timing, right? There's nothing to worry about is really what I'm, I'm feeling here for the energies for the divine feminine. A leap of faith, follow your dreams and unexpected opportunities. So <clears throat> those of you, <clears throat> excuse me, those of you who are looking into a fresh start in some way, please know that there's going to be people who literally it's going to feel like they just fall onto your path as you're walking. There's going to be people that are going to come forward that are you're going to meet sort of it's going to feel like haphazardly or just carelessly or you're just going to run into someone or it's going to be a friend of a friend or an acquaintance that you haven't seen. And these people are really going to assist you with getting on this new course and this new path towards really, really falling in love with yourself and this path towards this new home that you're creating for yourself, whether that's an inside home, right? An inside job or whether that's internally and externally. Okay. Cause some of you are going to be moving homes and even moving locations. So while the masculine is working on this energy, right? This is our inner masculine and the outer masculine and the feminines are definitely feeling this energy right now. Your inner feminine or outer feminine is working on balance. Okay. So you're sort of working on creating this. I had a card fall here. <clears throat> That's going to be the union energy. You're creating this equal give and take within yourself. And this is also that yin and yang energy of the balancing the masculine and feminine. So really the theme of this reading for the Scorpio full moon, uh, a general collective reading, guys, I have to say this. So take what resonates. Please don't make something fit if it doesn't. And my readings or anyone else's, please be discerning at this time. Um, I just ran into a reading yesterday and I'm sure this person had good intentions. I don't think there were ill intentions there, at least not consciously, but the message was that the divine masculine may not realize that union, who you are, that, you know, that union is possible until it's too late, until the feminine has passed away or moved on. It's like, why would you put that out there that instills separation and fear into the collective? And it's just not, it's counterproductive to moving towards union. And so, and then people buy into that and believe that and people give up, people try to move on, which causes, um, because you guys know that I've talked about moving on, but there's moving on and then there's trying to physically move on and never look back, which is impossible to do on this journey. Your counterpart is a part of you. So when I say moving on, I'm talking about 
the feminine is focusing on her life. The feminine is coming into inner union. The feminine is putting herself first. This does not mean you forget about your masculine. This does not mean that you never look back. This does not mean that you have no more feelings for your masculine. And this does not mean that you forget all about <clears throat> your masculine and that you never want to talk to them again or never want to see them again. Because if this is a true twin flame connection, a divine flame connection, that flame always burns. Whether your counterpart is here or in another realm, because some of you have, do have counterparts who have crossed over. And so regardless, okay, your job is to be as balanced as possible within yourself. And this brings your counterpart towards you. It has nothing to do. We think it has everything to do, right? And in the initial stages of this connection, we think if I say the right thing or if I do the right thing, it has really nothing to do with that. It's all to do with your energy. You could say the quote unquote wrong thing or say too much to your counterpart, but if you say it in the right energy, guess what? And you're balanced your counterpart is going to receive that balanced energy and they're going to come to you in a balanced energy and it's going to be a happy, beautiful, flowing conversation or interaction. But if you say something and let's say you could say the smallest of things, but if you're unbalanced when you say it or you're expecting the worst, your counterpart picks up on that because you guys are one soul floating around in two different bodies on this earth. And one of you has adopted the divine feminine energy and the other one has adopted the divine masculine energy, but it's interchangeable. Okay. So it's not like you're always a divine feminine. They're always a divine masculine energy flows. It's not stagnant. So I think there's just a lot of misconceptions about what a twin flame connection is, but if you're a true, true twin flame, your counterpart is in the process because that message was essentially saying the masculines are asleep and they're never waking up or they may never wake up. That's not correct. That's false. The masculines are waking up. The masculines have woken up. If you're dealing with a soulmate or you're dealing with a karmic, that's a completely different story. And that could be the case. But when you're dealing with a twin flame, if you wake up, your counterpart has no choice but to wake up in this lifetime. So, and also I think it's important the feminine doesn't put herself or himself on a pedestal um, I'm, I'm more awake, I'm further along than my counterpart, my counterpart's still asleep. That can only bring more pain and more separation into the connection. So even though we may feel that from time to time or we've gone through those feelings where it's like, gosh, this is taking forever. I wish they would just hurry up. I wish they would get that divorce. I wish they would just realize who I am. I wish they would just call. I wish they would reach out. We've all gone through those emotions and those feelings. And I think we've all at some points wanted to tap out and wanted to just get off the journey, but it always comes back to that unconditional love. So part of the journey for the feminine and masculine, because this is now union energy with this full moon in Scorpio, Scorpio rules other people's money and it rules inheritance. It's death taxes and other people's money. And of course, the Scorpio, the card that represents Scorpio in the tarot is the death card, the death and the rebirth card. So the nine of pentacles, you guys know this card by now. It's the card that identifies somebody as single, free, independent, financially independent, financially abundant. It says enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So a lot of you are moving into this place of successful self-employment. I want you guys, if some of you are starting a YouTube channel or going off on your own, or some of you are doing lots and lots of different projects, and you're going to be working with other divine feminines at this time. That's another theme that's coming up for a lot of personal readings that I've been doing. And so I think a lot, I think that applies to the collective as well. I really do. You're going to be coming together, okay, working together. You're going to be called to move to certain places where you're going to meet other divine feminines or where, there, where other divine feminines reside. You're going to be working together. You're going to be growing together. You're going to be supporting one another, leaning on each other while the divine masculine goes through their process. They are not further behind, okay? When I say they have to catch up, it's just that you're in two different places. It's not like, oh, the feminine's at the top of the mountain, but she is but it's not to say that she's ahead and he's behind. This is his journey. This is her journey. And we need to be respectful of the journey because we were there ourselves. 
<clears throat> we were there exactly where the masculine is. So we need to be a little more understanding, a little more compassionate. So both counterparts are moving towards, right? If one of you has broken free of a karmic connection or of a job that was karmic or of a family situation that was karmic in nature, you, both of you are now freeing yourselves. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing coming through with this Scorpio full moon is really freedom and the ability to consider oneself single, right? Sorry, I've got some fallen cards here. So yeah, the ability to consider yourself single, the ability to be able to provide for yourself. And for the masculine in particular, who may have walked away from a lot of wealth and may have walked away from a very stable, like a physically stable, I'm not saying it wasn't emotionally stable for the masculines, but physically stable in the 3D world, those connections. The masculine is now in this energy of having to rebuild and having to be able to fend for himself or herself, doing their own laundry, right? Figuring out how to cook for themselves, figuring out how to take care of a home by themselves and not having that person to count on probably for the first time and for a lot of them years and, and or decades. Okay, so the masculine's really learning how to be independent. He doesn't want to bring the feminine into his world while he's still in this place of sort of he thinks he's floundering. He thinks he's sort of all over the map and he's like, I don't really know if, you know, I don't really know if I'm doing this right. Like, I don't know if, if I, like, he's just afraid of bringing you in while he's in that place. I'm going to have to pause for one second. So, yeah, so I think that the masculine is definitely like, uh, let me get my shit together. Let me figure out how to do life on my own uh, before I bring someone else into the picture. So if you guys are wondering, this is just a download I'm receiving right now. If you guys are wondering if you're a masculine is dating right now, like if they just became single, okay, they're embodying the nine of pentacles energy. They are not dating. They are not active sexually intimate or active with anybody else the masculine is in a place of <clears throat> independence learning to live on their own for the first time in a long time maybe they never lived alone maybe they were always co codependent right maybe they were always relying on someone else and i think this is the case for a lot of the masculine energy remember this this pertains to the masculine energy within the um, feminine as well so the masculine is or could be in a state of sadness with the Scorpio full moon where he's feeling like, man, like this is the crying over spilled milk card, like crying over the past, crying over things that he wished he could change inside of the connection. I wish I had acted different, differently. I wish I had said things differently. I wish I had, I wish I had tried to understand where my feminine was coming from. I wish, I wish, I wish, right? This is like the, this is a guilty energy. This is an energy of not fully being able to see what's right in front of you. Because look, we have the three cups that are empty and then she's pouring out the cup that's full. And then there's one behind her and she can't even see it. So it's not being able to see what's right in front of you. He can't see that there is this brand new beginning that wants to birth itself. He's having trouble. And the Scorpio full moon will bring out our shadows, okay? So those of you who are Scorpios or who your masculine is a Scorpio or you just have some strong Scorpio energy in your chart, and I mentioned, if you're not sure what that means, I mentioned it in the beginning of the video, probably around like, I don't know what, I don't know. But I mentioned it in the beginning of the video and maybe around four and a half, five minutes after I did the intro where I talked about the, your astrological chart and where a strong, and Scorpio and Mars would be pretty important as well. Um, and how this, this full moon will be affecting you, but, but definitely for the suns, the rising, the moons, the North node, the South node. And so, yeah, he's spending a lot of time sort of melancholy right now, but it also, while he's in this energy of sort of wishing things could be different, wishing he had made different choices, done things differently, not said the things he said to the feminine, especially if he pushed you away, he's really second guessing or questioning his, like his MO, like why in the hell did I do that? 
because he's trying to be good enough. He's trying to have all his ducks in a row. He's trying to make things perfect and then bring you into his world. And he's going to have this sudden realization with this Scorpio full moon that you don't care if things are perfect. You just want to be with him or her. It doesn't matter to you if he has all his ducks in a row. You're like, I'm still figuring out my ducks. Like, do I want the purple duck? Do I want the orange duck? Do I want the tall duck? Do I want the short duck? I don't have all my ducks in a row. Do we ever really have all our ducks in a row? And that's the secret is the feminine energy knows this and embraces this and accepts this. But the masculine energy sort of beats himself up thinking everything has to be absolutely perfect. Because he puts you on such a pedestal. So that might be a tower moment that he has with this full moon is taking you off that pedestal and taking the connection off the pedestal. But this is this will be healthy. This is a healthy crashing. This is a healthy coming down from that pedestal. So justice, he does want to balance the scales within the connection and he does want to bring justice into your connection. He is thinking about this. How do I bring justice into this connection? How do I bring justice to my divine feminine? Because he's going to feel this push with this Scorpio energy to really, really bring the truth to uh, the surface or the truth to the connection. <clears throat> he really, really wants to make things right. He knows things have been really imbalanced for a long time. And he also notices that you're not giving as much as you used to, Feminine. He realizes this. He, he sees this. He feels this. Like where in the past you would have reached out and you would have, um, you know, how are you? What can I do for you? No, your energy is pulled back and your energy is focused on yourself. And that's forcing him deeper within his shadows. It's forcing him deep into the shadow work. It's forcing him to go really deep. And it's really forcing him to confront himself on a much deeper level than if you were just always there. So please listen to your intuition for your connection. If you are called to pull back, know that everything is going to be okay and that this, this is, you know, a temporary pause. Okay. It's always temporary because twin flames always find each other again. So we have for the masculine, you are good enough, the full moon in Virgo. So Virgo energy has a tendency to be perfectionistic and to sort of dive into that analysis paralysis energy of, again, like that's why he's currently in this five of cups energy. He's trying to make things perfect. Virgo wants, Virgo is the energy, <clears throat> right? The Virgo sun people will have a closet that will be color coordinated. And I kid you not, I had a friend who was sun and Virgo. Her closet was color coordinated. I was like, how in the hell? Like, how do you have time for this, right? You work so long and hard. Everything was ironed. Everything was pressed. And then I looked at my closet. Like, I hate ironing. Nothing was ironed. Everything was just, it wasn't messy but it wasn't color coordinated you know and it was like t-shirts color coordinated long shirts color coordinated and i was like what how do you have time for that how do you have the energy for that that's the virgo mind that's the the analyzer that's the organizer so he's trying to organize his life right now and i think he's finding it uh, a bit challenging right he's finding like oh wait a minute this isn't as easy as i thought like where i thought that i could just you know it's like Things were done for the masculine, okay, in the past, in their marriage, in their connections by family members. Things were done for them. Now they're having to do those things for themselves, and they're finding it a bit challenging. All right. Feminines, full moon in Cancer. Interesting. So you could be in your emotions, highly charged emotional energy with this full moon. A personal issue reaches resolution. So something is going to reach resolution and it may almost feel like a balloon. They're showing me a balloon being popped. So it may feel a little uncomfortable for you as well, but something is going to reach resolution. And I feel like this is going to be in different domains, depending on where the Scorpio moon falls in your chart. For some of you, it could be seventh house. It could be partnerships. It could be, um, you know, business partnerships, family partnerships, relationships. For others of you, it could be, you know, third house of communication. It could be the way in which you're speaking your truth and conversation that you'll have with someone where the truth is going to come out. For others of you, it might be first house. It could be the first house of identity if you have Scorpio rising. So this could be the personal issue with your identity and who you are and who you want to be in this world. So it's really going to depend on where the Scorpio placement is in your chart. Mm -hmm. How about a union energy for the Scorpio full moon? A union energy. Man, why are cards falling on the ground? Huh. 
A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Libra is the seventh house, the sign of partnerships. How interesting. So, look, I mean, we had the Ace of Cups come out in victory. And now we have just further validation. This is another theme that's kind of just sort of sailing through the collective, right? Is a new romantic cycle begins. So there is a new cycle in these connections. Whether you're seeing it or not, whether it's on the surface or not, whether this is just, you're like, I'm making this up in my mind. <laughs> I don't see it. She's talking about it. Other readers are talking about it. I don't know if they are. I don't watch other readings anymore, really. Um, but maybe they are. And so I feel like a lot of you are feeling this energy, but you're not seeing it yet. Just know that it's there. It's energy. It's moving. Energy is emotion or emotion is energy emotion. Energy is moving. It has to flow. It can't stay stagnant. All right. So the energy is moving towards this new romantic cycle. Tell me more. Yep. The chariot fast moving energy choices being made in one's life. I told you this is more with the feminine energy, but this is um, masculine. will be feeling this too. Like he's feeling the need to come closer. He's feeling the need with this full moon to close out a cycle. He's feeling the need to close out a cycle to start the new cycle. And he has to know that he's good enough. He has to know that he doesn't have to be perfect, that he just needs to come forward. Just come forward, masculine. Just, just give your feminine an offering. Give her an offering of some sort. And no need to worry about being perfect. And no need to worry about like messing up. You can't mess this up, masculine. I think that's a lesson that they're hard, like they're, they're, it's, they're, it's gritty, right? This is a gritty lesson for the masculine because they haven't felt good enough and they were put down with those past relationships, right? Family members, maybe even, you know, bosses or coworkers. And now, you know, with this dissolution of this karmic connection, and I think they feel that I just want to be single. I don't ever want to put myself in that position again. But they're, they need to realize the feminine would never put them down and the feminine knows that you are my equal so if I put you down I'm putting myself down right so when both counterparts are healed enough they come together in this healed energy to create a relationship that's built on mutual respect unconditional love acceptance of one another acceptance of your quote-unquote perceived weaknesses or faults and also helping to lift each other up into your strengths. You're both being asked to step into more vulnerability, which is gonna to lead to more personal freedom. We already know this, vulnerability is strength. Reach for that star. So your masculine sees you as being a powerhouse in the area of vulnerability, and they want a piece of that. They want to be able to show you their vulnerability because they, their emotions, guys, have been really stuffed up. You know, a lot of these masculines haven't really fully told you how they felt. In fact, I'll share a little tidbit. The last time I spoke with my masculine in the physical was a few months ago after like a year of basically silence on his end, um, minimal, minimal responses on his end. And then he called out of the blue and he didn't say, I love you, or I'm thinking of you, or I miss you. What he said instead, and this is masculine speak, it's like Edward from Twilight. He said, you're thought of and you're loved. And he said that two or three times, like he needed to cement that. He needed me to know that I know I'm absent in the physical. I'm over here getting my shit together, getting my affairs in order, but you are thought of and you are loved. And I had to think about that for a minute. I'm like, well, by who? <laughs> and so I think the masculines in a way are acknowledging the feminine, their, the feminine's role in the world. And I think the masculine is also, was also, my masculine was acknowledging, of course, his love that... I miss you, I'm thinking of you, and I love you. But he just couldn't bring himself to come out and say it. So that vulnerability is going to free you, masculine. So if masculines, if you're watching, um, time to release the fear surrounding being vulnerable, especially with your beloved, but in all areas of your life. Yeah, bring in honest communication, masculines. This is what is going to really move things along. This is what is going to jumpstart these connections. Um, jumpstart this new romantic cycle. And this is going to bring in the balance for the connections in the physical. You want to bring in that justice. The feminine is asking you at this time, please bring in honest communication with me. That's what I need. That's what I'm going to be most responsive to. And this is, this is truth. The, the feminine is going to be responsive if you have a healed enough feminine. 
feminines, you know, can you handle that honest communication? It's okay to say no. It's okay to be at that place where you're like, I don't think so. I'm not there yet. That's okay. Just be honest with yourself. Be honest with your masculine, whether it's in the 5D, 5D conversation or the 3D. Masculine is working on self-acceptance. Okay, with this full moon. This is an energy. You know, Scorpio expects nothing less than everything from us. Okay, Scorpio is a whole energy. It's a complete energy. It will take you down the rabbit hole of self-awareness. <laughs> I've been down that my whole life. And it will take you to some dark places and it will lift you up as you rise like the phoenix. It will lift you up to the most incredible views that you've ever had. But you have to be willing to go to that place. You have to be willing to really discover yourself. All right, let's get some feminine energy. This is the Angel God Oracle by Kyle Gray. Raise your vibration. Feminine, yes. If you're in the energy of like, well, fuck this, fuck that. Because um, Scorpio energy can, can, can make us feel very negative. Okay, if you're in like the throes of the Scorpio energy, the Scorpionic energy, where you're in the Scorpio animal energy and not in the eagle energy or the Phoenix energy, you can definitely be like kind of snide, kind of short with others, short with yourself, nasty, and just sort of like dark, angry. So if you're feeling those emotions, first of all, it's okay. God, I battled those emotions throughout high school, throughout most of my 20s, um, and they're tough. But I want you to know that you can conquer them and that it's okay to feel those emotions. You're not wrong for being angry. You're not wrong for feeling any of that. But I want you to raise your vibration because that's going to raise the vibration of your connection. That's what's going to bring in this union and your counterpart. When our vibration is low, we create a block, an obstacle to our counterpart coming in. Healing energy. Some of you might need healings at this time. If you guys need healings, please don't. Um, look any further than Holly Kenna. She is, if you guys are new to the channel, I will share her information below. I'll share her website. Gosh, I have a lot of things to remember to share. <laughs> the, uh, the song, the website, and I feel like there was something else that I've already forgotten. Oh no. Um, maybe you guys will remind me in the live, but Holly is amazing. She's an incredible healer. She's a medical intuitive and she's taking on new clients right now. She actually just made a move herself and she would love, love, love to assist you on your journey. So if you need to raise your vibration, okay, which a lot of feminines I'm, I'm picking up on you do, please reach out to her. I'll leave her website below and what you can do is you can book through, I think she has her phone number on her website. You can book through a text message with her. You can tell her that I sent you. She's a dear soul sister of mine. Yeah, friendship and union. So guys, rely on your friendships right now. Friendship and union. This is about union with yourself, union with other sisters at this time. This is what's going to help raise your vibration. Stay strong, stay connected to other feminines. And then no, they're saying no. So there's something that maybe the feminine really wants right now and you're being told a stern no from the universe. So let's see what that actually means. What does this mean? This no from the universe. Your angels are drawing close this time to help you recognize that the answer to the question on your mind is no. This is not the time to proceed. You may want to, but you are being encouraged to see beyond the current situation and understand that following through on your ideas may have a negative effect on the whole course of your life. I feel like if some of you are in a, a very fragile state, please seek help. I have to say this because this feels dark. This feels like um, some of you may feel like you need to reach out, but you, this is why friendship is coming up. Please connect to somebody. Um, and if you need to, please reach out to a hotline for help. There is no shame in doing that. I've done it myself. Okay. There are text hotlines. If you're feeling suicidal, if you're feeling really low, please get help and please reach out to others. Okay. Please reach out to family members or friends that you trust. Reach out. There are hotlines for every country that you live in. I want you guys to know that you're, you matter so greatly. And so if you're really struggling at this time, because Scorpio is this heavy, heavy, deep, sometimes dense energy. So you might really be feeling this full moon. I want you guys to know that you are loved and you are appreciated and you are not alone on this planet. So that's it. That's a message that's coming through really strongly. Guys, if you're considering doing something that serious, please, please, please let us know. You know, there's a live chat here. Let us know if you're struggling so that we can help you. Okay. I know this journey isn't easy. 
look, there's the renewal energy. So what I feel like if you can push past this energy and you can stay connected feminine, you can push past this energy. It's just going to be another day or two push past this energy. Know that it's just energy. It's just flowing through you, that it's moving through you. Do something to move the energy, move your body, talk to somebody, get it out, cry it out, do what you need to have a fist fight with your pillow and scream, go out in nature and wail on a stick. Do what you need to do to move that energy through you because there is a renewal coming, okay? There is, this is the energy of judgment. This is the energy of self-redemption. There is a self-redemption coming through where you're gonna feel like you are rising from the ashes, like that phoenix rising. Re review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. So let's get a clarifier here for this energy. Can you clarify the judgment card spirit for the feminine? We have the Ten of Pentacles. So there is the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, on the other side of this pain that you're experiencing or this darkness or the shadow energy or just this desire to sort of maybe do nothing today it might be just this desire this desire to sort of just like i just don't want to do anything i don't want to see anybody just leave me alone is the ten of pentacles and this is the card of having it all okay the ten of pentacles is the happy home it's the happy home life it's family it's children it's animals it's pets it's dancing it's celebration it's abundance it's financial abundance material abundance emotional abundance spiritual abundance this is, in my opinion, not just the best card, but this is the most fulfilling card to receive. This is the card that indicates that life is going to be good on all fronts, on all levels, that there's no aspect of your life that's going to feel yucky. You know, in the past where you might used to joke with your friends, well, I have the love, but I don't have the job, or I have the money, but I don't have the boyfriend or the girlfriend, you're going to have it all. So this is where we're headed, guys. So masculine energy, you're good enough. Feminine energy deal with that personal issue okay raise your vibration get that healing energy i really feel the call for some of you to work with holly um, i've worked with her several times so has ariana our soul sister that i introduced to you back in february we did a fun video for you guys um, uh, and so i just really want you to reach out and if it's if it's not with holly if you have someone you work with please just reach out to that person please receive those healings at this time if you're feeling low and you're feeling like you just need to connect because that's really what loneliness is it's the absence of connection please connect i love you guys so much please take good care of yourselves with this energy let's do one more card just for just thinking we're going to do one more card from the angel guide deck to close out the reading so one more card here okay what do the twins most need to know at this time what energy are they moving into well we have spiritual growth there's one more card that wants to come out i feel Spiritual growth. This is a big opportunity for spiritual growth. Listen deeply. Listen deeply to your guides. Listen deeply to your angels. Listen deeply to your higher self. And know that there are, there's opportunity for growth and change at this time. So a lot of shifts, a lot of changes are happening at this time. Guys, I'm sending you so, so much love. Take great care, and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for your support, guys. We're at 11,000. This is amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you.